Michael Noah from PhoneDog.com, and uh, thanks to the folks over at Warm World Nokia, uh, W-O-M-W-O-R-L-D.com, you can see it right there on your screen. Thanks to you guys for pulling me away from NCAA Basketball Men's Basketball Championship Week. I'm serious. I've just been, ever since UConn, Syracuse, six overtimes last night. I've just been glued to the TV set, <clears throat> and I needed to do my job, right? So thank you for sending over the Nokia E75. Arrived just this morning. Appreciate it. Um, very interested to check this one out. I got to see it back at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona uh, last is it last month already? It's March already. My goodness. Last month. Uh, but only, you know, trade show. Got like a couple minutes with it. Just kind of got to check it out, do a little video. But very, uh, very looking forward to playing this one because it's a form factor I really like. And did I say playing this one? Playing with this one? I uh, see basketball on the head. It's all about games. Um, it's a form factor I really like. The, uh, the horizontal slide out, you know, kind of reminiscent. We've seen this from other companies. Here, hang on, I'll show you. The form factors, hey, I'm back. The form factors everywhere. Horizontal slider, right? E series high end smartphone, horizontal slider, HTC. This is the uh, Fuse, but the HTC Touch Pro. Horizontal slider, LG Rumor 2 for Sprint. So you've got entry level messaging phone, you've got, you know, high end Windows Mobile phone, Windows Mobile being big in America, and you've got high end now Symbian smartphone, Symbian being. Dominant OS, um, not in America. <laughs> America, I don't know what it is. We gotta always make up our own thing. That the rest of the world doesn't do. But uh, um, Symbian, obviously, you know, huge in Europe and other parts of the world. And so Nokia's got their horizontal slider now. The E75. I'm gonna take it out of the box. It, it reminds me somewhat of uh, I think it was the E70, which was a Nokia messaging phone that wasn't a horizontal slider, but it was a flip. Then when you opened it, it then had a QWERTY board that you would hold kind of, you know, the long way with sort of like butterfly wings. I really dug that phone when that phone was, was out a couple years ago. Uh, the E75, here's the phone. We'll go over, you guys, we'll go overhead. Hang on. All right, so should I go back to the beginning here? We'll start the uh, unboxing portion of today's proceedings over. Here's an Nokia E75 in the box. It's the copper model, as you can see. Inside the box, you've got another box, and another box, and behind box number one, or inside box number one, is the phone itself. We'll get back to that in a second. Inside of box number two is the Nokia power adapter, and this is a European release phone right now. It came from, came to me from across the pond, even. This might, is this maybe the first time, actually? This came from, came from the United Kingdom. This might be the first time we've had, not a phone that I've bought, but a phone that's been lent to us for review came from clear across the pond. I'll have to look into that. Anyway, here's your charger. European charger. For those of you who've never seen a European charger, there it is. That's what plugs look like, you know, in the U.S. This is what you plug into the wall. In Europe, it's that. So I have an adapter. I'll put in there, or hook up to it, rather, to charge it up. Oh, box number three is kind of really like a, a fake box, sort of. Very complicated. We've got a headset. It's like three and a half millimeter to stereo, yes, stereo, inline microphone, data cable, micro USB to USB, Nokia Maps activation guide, E series E75 guide, E75 manual, and then of course battery. So here's the phone itself. Again, this is the copper version. It's got, a, it's got a little bit of a heft to it. It's kind of, first impression, I feel like Randy Jackson from American Idol. It's kind of, you know, dog, it's kind of like this for me. I do a terrible Randy Jackson. I don't even know what that sounded like. Um, there I am. I look nothing like him. It's got a nice, I was going to say, it's got kind of got a nice combination between um, lightness and kind of the solid feel of like the E71 with the metal back and that same ridged metal back that's just... It's a different style, you know, I, I don't, <laughs> it's cliche to say European, but it's a different style than you see in a lot of uh, American or Asian phones, or, you know, Asian-made phones are phones for the American market. Um, not all, don't mean stereotypes, so, you know, get out of that. But it's a different style than you'd get from Motorola or Samsung or even something like HTC. And uh, it's cool. Nothing against any of the other, not saying one's better than the other, but it's a cool alternative. It feels well made. 3.2 megapixel camera with flash, autofocus. There's your USB port, your micro SD card slot port. There's a card in it. Survey says three terabytes. No, four gigs. Four gigs. 
uh, media controls on the side, dedicated camera button, and then the back comes off here. Nokia phones lately, the higher end ones in particular, nice little uh, latching systems for the back plate. It's not that, you know, the metal back plate, it's nice, it's not snapping in and out, it's a latch, uh, less concern about scratching your phone perhaps. Although, you know, you can't, you can't talk about phone scratching the first 30 seconds you have the phone. Got to have it for a while and see what happens. So we'll see if we've got any power here, but uh, it's a Symbian smartphone, runs Symbian Series 60. It's got GPS. Uh, I think this is the navigation feature is loaded, so I can check that out. And, uh, you know, like I said, full keyboard on the front, sliding. Look how thin it is. It's very thin. Um, get a comparison. So this is in a case, so i got to take the iPhone out of this in this bulky case. I'll let, you can watch it boot up, sorry. <laughs> now you can watch it while I struggle with getting my iPhone out of this case. You can just stare at uh, the incorrect date on the front of the E75. I just wanted to show you size comparison. Here we go. No cellular network coverage because I don't have a SIM card in there yet. So here's the iPhone 3G, here's the E75 size comparison. And you can see, you know, the Nokia is thicker, but it's really, it's really not that much thicker. Let's put it down on the side so you can see because the iPhone definitely so there you go. We'll try to get a you know a pretty good um, non uh, non angled you know what am I trying to say a straight on shot. Thanks, I'm no cinematographer. It's thicker than the iPhone, but the E75 is not all that thick when you consider that it's a a dual layered slider phone. You know, it's definitely thicker. Where's the uh, the fuse? We'll put next to it, and you'll see a big difference. The fuse, you know, obviously much thicker. So it's it's uh, you know it's not a touchscreen though the Nokia the fuse is a touchscreen but anyway I don't mean to get into comparing apples to oranges haha -ha, but uh, you know the Nokia physically strikes a nice balance between the uh, functionality of the slide out keyboard and still maintaining a nice slim sexy profile so I'm gonna get a SIM card oh my voice cracked I'm gonna get a SIM card in here and uh, test this thing out play with it and get back to you with some actual impressions but here's your unboxing the brand new Nokia E75 an unlocked GSM Symbian Series 60 smartphone um, Wi-Fi all that good stuff thanks again to the folks over at Nokia WAM World WAMworld.com for sending us the loaner so I could check this one out we'll be back with much more on PhoneDog.com till next time I'm Noah thanks for watching have a great weekend